Hello students. In this video, we have third additional exercise problem of chapter six. The question is: It is desired to measure the magnetic field, magnitude of magnetic field between two poles of powerful loudspeaker magnet. So we want to find out magnetic field. A small flat uh, surge coil of area 2 cm square with 25 closely wound turns is positioned normal to the field direction and then quickly snatched out of the region. Eventually, uh, one can give quick 90 degree turn to bring its plane parallel to the field, the field direction. The total charge flown in the coil as measured by ballistic galvanometer. Ballistic galvanometer is a type of very sensitive galvanometer. The charge value found is 7.5 millicoulomb. The combined resistance of the coil and the galvanometer is 0.50 ohm. Estimate the field strength of magnet. So, uh, what is done here? There are two uh, magnetic poles. Say this is one magnetic pole and uh, here is the other one. And if you want to determine the field value, what you can do is uh, keep a coil initially like this in such a way that area vector and magnetic field both are in the same direction. Okay, and then uh, turn it. Turn it in such a way that the angle between the two becomes 90 degree. So, what is the final situation? Finally, the coil is kept like this. So, area vector is here, B is here. So, what is angle between B and A? It is 90 degree. So, theta final is 90 degree. Theta initial is 0 degree. Okay, and uh, as there is a uh, rotation there is change in flux there is induced emf so there is current and there is charge and using this fact using this phenomena we are asked to find out strength of magnetic field so after understanding the phenomena the situation let us uh, start with data collection uh, we are given that the area of the coil is 2 cm square don't forget to convert it into meter square number of turns 25 uh, it is given rotation from 0 degree to 90 degree and uh, charge passing through the coil is 7.5 millicoulomb. So 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 you should take while calculating the answer. Resistance of galvanometer is given 0 0.50 ohm. And we are asked to find out strength of magnet means B we have to calculate. So all what we know about the induction phenomena is that epsilon is uh, d phi by dt. Okay. So I can write this as, uh, sorry, uh, let me consider average uh, epsilon. So we will consider delta phi by delta t. You can take d phi by dt also. So, average epsilon is phi 2 or phi final minus phi initial upon delta t. Can I write uh, epsilon as current upon resistance? Okay, and uh, phi final is B A cos theta final minus B A cos theta initial upon delta t. Now we know that uh, cos 90 is 0 and hence this term will be 0. So what we are left with? We are left with B A upon delta t because uh, this term will become 1. What about the negative sign? What to do with negative sign? Actually, according to Lenz law, here we have minus delta phi by delta t. So, negative, negative will become positive and ultimately we have B A delta t. 
So now I should be able to write this as B A is equal to I delta T by R. Now we know that uh, current I is uh, Q by T. So I into T is Q and hence I can write this as B is equal to Q by A R. Okay. Uh, and as we are talking about the flux of uh, full coil, I should have mentioned N here. Consider N and then you have N Q by A R. So substitute all the values. I think we have everything given. N is available. N is given 25 turns. Area is also given 2 centimeters square. Don't forget to convert it into meter square. We have R also available 0 0.50 ohm. Q is also given. Q is also available. Okay, so substitute all the values, carry out answer, and don't forget to mention uh, unit Tesla. Thank you.